Hi, Brian Danola here from Autodesk uh, with Scott LaProd from Gen Swiss tooling supplier and Derek Briggs from Sugami, um, Swiss machine tool uh, builder and distributor. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the final process in making this screw broaching. When you have to manufacture a screw on the back of the head, you need a place to put the wrench. And in many cases, you can't have radiuses in the corner of the hex or hexalobe. So you need to use another process. We can't mill it, we can't turn it. In this case, we can broach it. So Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about broaching? What are the steps in the process, the requirements? Um, you know, What's unique about this holder you have here? Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, rotary broaching is a very uh powerful process. Basically any screw that you might manufacture in your CNC Swiss needs to have some form of a drive feature. So what the rotary brooch does is allows you to cut and shape the drive feature into the end of the workpiece while the spindle is rotating. This saves you a lot of time. You get very clean finished forms. Occasionally you'll hit applications where a rotary may not necessarily be the best way to go where maybe you have a very deep socket you need to generate or there's external features on the workpiece that need to align to the drive feature, in which case, being that this rotates, it's very hard in order to give it a known location where you can very accurately control the orientation and location of a nibble brooch or a punch brooch. The rotary brooch system that we're using from Gen Swiss, one of the key benefits to this holder and what allows it to be so beneficial is the Y-axis on the machine, on this back working tool block, it actually has uh, 80 millimeters of Y-axis stroke. So you can dial in your pocket right on center, just like you would a spot drill, a tap, or any other tool. The benefit of this holder is it is already on center. The distance from here to here is actually a known distance and it's on center line. Once you have your pocket trammed in for a drill or for a tap or anything, you can pull that tool right out, put this one right in, and touch it off in Z, and you're right on center. You don't have to worry about floating in a holder like the old style uh, broaching tools. So because Autodesk has a specialized Swiss solution, we have specialized processes. So we support three types of broaching. Uh, rotary broaching or wobble broaching like we've shown here today on the Sugami with Gen Swiss uh, rotary broaching tools. Uh, we also support static broaching of two kinds, either what we call index punch broaching, where we take a rectangle and punch the shape uh, three times at three angles to make the hex, or index or what some people may call nibble broaching. So I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the nibble broaching process here. So we have our tool here. In this case, it's going to be a triangular tool because we're going to pick out those corners on the part. So we can define the shape of our tool so we can have that little corner within the hex on the back of the part. Once we've got our shape defined, we then can go into our process and we can define how we want to axially or radially peck on the part. And then also, a lot of times when you're broaching, you end up with a burr in the bottom of your part. Well, one of the things that we do here is we enter the part, and when we exit, we have an exit angle. So we can help push that burr out of the part. We also can index around. So we're gonna be nibbling out one corner. Well, we have six corners we gotta do. So I can set my angle of increment and my number of indexes and my starting angle here. Once we've got our process all dialed in, we can go ahead and visualize this and actually see the part being nibble broached, nibbling out those corners. The most important thing here to learn is that if you want to machine parts complete on a Swiss machine, just doing milling and turnings, not always as option. Sometimes you need some specialty tools. Companies like Autodesk, Rem Sales, and Gen Swiss can help you with these types of parts. So feel free to contact any one of us.